Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Timber and Stone, episode number 26. Today I would really, really like to focus on the barracks. You can see I finally got started putting some stone down. We're getting a floor in here. So that is coming along. And again, once I get this flooring going, then I'm going to set up new beds. Then I'll tear these guys out. Probably okay to just take them out now, but just in case there's some kind of issue, I would prefer to have those in there. Now, I did make bandages at some point. I don't know if those got used. Um, let's see. What is that? Bandages zero. So they must have used them in the chaos of everything that happened during last episode's invasion. They may have gotten around to finally using those. I wanted to see that in work though, uh, but I was too busy. <laughs> a little tied up with what was going on here. Uh, you can see a lot of the corpses are cleaned up though. I may have missed these in the pile. Looks like I did. There we go. Probably should get a door back on there as soon as possible. We get a spider alert, but that's okay. So yeah, the base. I'd really like to get these barracks going. Um, so let's look at beds really quick. If I bring up the, not that, we want objects, furniture. You can see that we have blanketed bed, which takes cloth. We have 200, but we could make a whole lot of blanketed beds. But you can see it says a low quality bed there. Now, if I go to the next one, it's a high quality bed, but that requires that cotton. That's why I had mentioned previously that we could only make about seven of these because it takes 20, so that'd be 140. Uh, we could get some more. Um, I do have somebody on herding right now. We obviously have sheep here, but that's where we stand right now. And I think seven beds is probably good. We've got 17 people. Um, I don't think we would have, I mean, unless we had a really big fight, uh, we wouldn't need all seven beds occupied at once. And the reality is I think by the time we get there, if that does happen, you know, we'll be trying to make some more beds. This is just kind of a starter. So anyway, that's, that's the goal. Um, that's what I'd like to do. Let's go ahead and start this back up. Keep getting all this pausing. There it goes again. Once again. <laughs> all kinds of messages here. But I'm actually going to pan out here really quick. We're going to go see who is over here. And what this is looking like. It's just more spider messages. So many spiders, you guys. It's crazy how many there are. Let's see. You've got this, right, Lom? You're good. We don't need to keep uh, pausing things. Just take him out. I'm gonna just walk him over close to this one. That's fine, get to swinging. There you go, head over towards this guy. Take this guy out too. Might as well gather the, uh, <laughs> gather the resource of the skeleton I happen to see there. Okay, maybe we can avoid some messages for the next 10 seconds. <laughs> So there we go, we can actually see we got a good chunk of floor coming in here already. So we could actually start with these beds. Now, the straw beds here are the only ones I've ever made. So this will be interesting. And I'm also trying to think of how I'm gonna do a door here. Like where would the door be? I kind of think about the flow of things. And if somebody were trained, for example, and they were over here, they would have to loop around the building. Part of me was thinking I'd put a door right up front here and maybe one over here or on the back side. But I think I want to try to keep this down to a minimum. I, I think I might just do one door. And I might put it over on one side so I could really get a good line of beds going on. Um, granted, if I put it in the middle, you get an even split. You don't have to walk down a long row of beds. I am probably overthinking this a bit, but that's okay. And we have another pause here again. I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Let's get a bed queued up here. I keep wanting to do it over there. Um, objects furniture comfortable bed a high quality bed can we tell okay so the pillow is on the far side there oh look at that we have another new settler so if i'm going to put the door centered and i'm going to say that the door is about there i should actually build the door first huh <laughs> that might actually make things easier to figure out what i'm doing um let's go ahead with a studded door i'm gonna unpause this can i hit play with that no I guess you can't do hit play when you're when you've got somebody waiting to be selected here. Um, so let's just take a look then. Charismatic overeater, quick learner. Okay, we like a couple of those. Uh, infantry skill is starting at three right there. Not bad. Okay, so let's look at names here. I'm looking at my list. I've got to randomize this thing a bit, except I'm moving the screen around here. I'm going to actually have to bring you right back, run that list, get the name, and uh, figure it out from there. 
Okay, welcome back. We have a selection here. We're going to go ahead and accept this migrant. Looks like she took a little bit of damage. The name that came up for us this time around was Jordan. Welcome to the colony, Jordan. How many people are we at now? We are currently at 18. That is a lot. That's a lot for me. Okay, once again, we have another pause. Boy, those spiders are killing me, you guys. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, do the objects, door, studded door. And I really need this so I can rotate this guy. There we go. I think that looks about centered. That looks about right. So go ahead and put that there. So now we know where that's going to be. Let's go ahead and hop back. Close that. Furniture. Comfortable bed. Pillow is on the far side. Excellent. So yeah, I think we're just going to line these up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get these made now. How many can I get in there? I probably have to leave room for them to step in. That's unfortunate. I think I'm only going to get two on each side. If that's the case, then I'm going to put them as far away as I can. Um, here. And here. And then there. And there. Uh, I could probably get away with blocking the door here, but I don't know. It's kind of cheesy. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get as many beds in here as I thought. I can probably do one here. Yeah, and then on this side with one maybe in the middle. So I'm going to get five, six, seven. And then four more. I guess I can get nine on this floor. Now I could throw in some stairs as well, and then um, and then that would give us more room, you know, on a floor above it to expand. That's probably what we'll end up doing. But anyway, for now, I think that'll work. Um, although we were going to carry back to this wall, so we could probably get two on these uh, ends. So four right, and another four is eight plus five, so we get thirteen on that first floor. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like Lon was out there taking care of spiders. Excellent. Can we select that? Yes. Gather those resources. I see another one here. Excellent. Okay, so we're just going to continue work. Obviously, it's getting dark here. We have evening approaching, or we're actually in the evening. So I think we'll pick it up in the morning. We'll see how far we've come along by then. Alrighty, as morning arrives, you can see we've got walls going on here. I've also started making some bookcases. Why would you do that, Weem? It's a waste of resources. <laughs> well, when I went to put down the really nice beds, it showed that we needed a level 16 carpenter. And Joe is 15, but it is a carpenter who makes bookcases. And so you can see I've even put a few inside here just for decoration. I figured in here would be nice as well. They require a level 8 and uh, level 8 carpenter so I thought you know what if I make a number of these maybe that'll help him level he's also been working on some other things uh, that's Raven I thought where is he he's roaming around somewhere this might be him he is slowly making his way in here to work on the bookcases why are you so slow <laughs> you are carrying a bunch of weight that's fine so anyway hopefully we can get him leveled up now if I can't get him leveled up pretty quickly if that doesn't happen after making this stuff and maybe a few other things we'll just go ahead and start with the low quality beds and I might do you know two at a time and see if he levels and then another two And if he does happen to level then I would do the rest as high quality but um, anyway I'm hoping that uh, this might do it that he may happen to level because he's been 15 for a bit and I've pretty much been having him be the only one who's doing the carpenter stuff now as far as the walls go you can see I circled those around and I did not line them up with the actual outer wall I wanted somebody to be able to walk along this uh, without having to walk up on the edge not that they fall off or anything but that's just how the whole wall goes uh, except for this corner but that's how everything else goes all the way around so I thought I would leave it now what I did though was I did use it as kind of a back wall here and that's where I inset these books case so I thought that would be I don't know kind of a cool look and I'm gonna pretty much put a bed at the f at basically right up against each one of these if you can imagine these four beds aligned to the right by one block that's kind of what I'm thinking I will carry that all the way along this wall but again we're hoping to get Joe leveled up that would be pretty pretty cool because I'd love to do those high quality beds but um, let's see, let's get some more stone going here. I did put scaffolding up front. You can see I have no windows. This is going to be a secure place. This is where they're going to rest. I don't want something coming up, you know, that I happen to miss. Walking right up and just hitting them once and killing them because they were low on life or anything. Or an arrow shot from somebody who comes in and hits them. You know, this is supposed to be a secure spot for them to crash. So the goal is to just kind of keep this really secure, really tight. And maybe throw some stairs that go up and there could be some more beds and then some defenses up there. You know, some kind of wall they can stand out on. But um, 
that is what we're looking at right now. Let's jump into construction, walls, get some more of this going. You can see we pretty much run out of things to do here. So we will continue this way. Something like this. Let's see, so there we go, that would be four tall. Now, I don't wanna make the ceiling at this level. For example, right here, I don't wanna do that. We're gonna have the ceiling be one more up above that. Um, so anyway, I, I could start that. It would be something along these lines. Um, there you go. Give you an idea what that's gonna look like. So that's the plan right now. Once again, I'm hoping Joe can hit that level. It looks like he's done with those and did not level, but there's a couple other things I can have him do as well. Um, let's actually take a look. Um, construction, nope, objects, furniture. So the fireplace is a stonemason. Um, we do have a dresser. I chose the large bookcase again because it was a level eight. I figured that was kind of a higher level. Um, so it might help. The, the blanketed bed is only five, so not all that great. Let's see, there's really not much else there we can do. Um, there might be some workshop stuff he can do that I don't have down yet, although I think, actually, I think I have everything. Maybe some more storage, maybe some lighting. Let's see, none of the lighting is carpenter. Okay. Just looking through here. I do want to make some of the other doors as well, but they require higher level engineering. They require seven, and I think that Joe's at five right now. Yeah, he's at five. So we're gonna have to make some more training dummies, those kinds of things that can get him leveled up um, before we can get to making any kind of cool door. And once I can do that, I'm actually thinking about, um, you know, probably putting that over here, changing how this all works, perhaps, something along those lines, or, um, extending the area out this way, basically extending a portion of the wall out, have a door that's right here near the building, uh, another new walled in area, and then have the bigger castle door or something like that. So you kind of have to go through two points. And if I did that, I would close this off over here. It'd be the only uh, entry and exit point of this area. At least that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Okay, I had Joe make a table and one or two other things, and he's still a 15, so we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the plan. So let's go in here to objects, furniture, and blanketed bed. We're gonna go with for now. We'll start with uh, two of these guys. So he can get that going. You can see him making his way over here. And, and again, we'll see if these two level him up. That would be nice. And then just go nice beds at that point. We could see that Luca just leveled up. Builder level six now. We've got a lot of people going. So this is going to be just this tightly confined box. You can see really nothing special about it. But they're just going to go in there and crash. So that's going to be its only purpose, at least at that level. Um, a level above it could depend. I'm trying to think about where to put some stairs. You can see I've not fully uh, given orders to completely enclose this yet, but uh, I think if we do stairs, we'll probably do it over on this end and angle up towards the right or something. And then up here we may do, uh, could be another closed in area or it could be kind of partial walls so that we can get archers up here if somebody does come inside. I haven't fully decided any of that stuff yet. And there's probably a lot of other uses we could make for that as well, but um, yeah, and if you have any ideas for that, please feel free to leave a comment. It could be that by the time you are watching it that I've already recorded that. <laughs> but I know at the time I'm recording this right now, I'm about to take a break. Next video uh, will be up. And uh, so anyway, yeah, it could be that you get all the way to here before I record the next one. Who knows? Who knows? That's the uh, that's how this stuff goes. Ask for comments when you're recording multiple episodes in a row. But I do appreciate the comments. And I may end up doing a floor up here and really not putting anything up there just yet. And so it could be down the road that we do something. So yeah, if you let me know what you guys think could go up there, that would be great. And maybe uh, you guys have an idea of something I can do right away versus me just kind of letting it sit there and not be used. But it looks like we're getting this in. There's the two beds. We didn't get an indication that he leveled up. Nope. But at least we got those two in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set a few more in here. Um, keep wanting to do that there. Blanketed bed. Let's see. Let's do one here and there. Anyway, we're going to do this. We'll see if he levels up or not as he uh, gets these done. But um, anyway, I do want to thank you guys for stopping in and watching. I appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.